Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the Miami Marlins and the Washington Nationals. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about ready to go. And today on the Hill, Mackenzie Gore. What do you have on him? It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. Ready to go? Luis Arise stands in. The pitch. Pass ball for a strike. And we're underway here this afternoon. And a pitch. Ground ball right side. He gets there on a slide. Nicely done for the out. And time now for the Marlins lineup. They're facing a pitcher today who's prone to giving up homers. So we'll see. We might get some big swings here today. Yeah, I think the key, though, and the reason why he gives up those homers is that guys are locking in, they're aggressive, and they have a high confidence level. So I think if that's the approach these hitters take, with the stuff he's got there on the mound, yeah, there's a good chance that there'll be some balls that fly a long way. But you can't get too big in your swing. Otherwise, you'll be really frustrated after this one. The 1-0. Swing and a miss. Nice change up. One and one. Next one misses. Two balls and a strike. Two balls, one strike. Bounce to the left side. Down the line, and it's foul. Swings and misses, struck him out. Here's Josh Bell. That one missed. Ball one, no play. Two outs, bases empty. In the air, out towards right center. Thomas sizing this one up. He's got it. And that's the third out. No score as we head to the bottom of the first. Back in Washington, D.C showing the slab in today's game. Jesus Lazardo. How about a scouting report on him? He's a dominant pitcher, but he can get a little too relaxed second and third time through the order and miss his spots. That's where we see him get touched up. If he maintains the same intensity that he has in the first inning and the second inning, I think we'll see him hand the ball over to his closer. C.J. Abrams up to bat next. Lays off for a ball. There's a strike. Good heater at 98. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball. 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. Ball to strike. Drops one down in front of the plate. And he picks it up and he'll put it in his pocket. Here comes a pitch. That one the other way. And it stays fair. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but it did, and he did it perfectly. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Here's Lane Thomas. Spits the plate. It's 0-1. 0-1's the count.
Abrams gets his lead at first with nobody out. Next offering is in for a strike. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Missed with a changeup, and the count is one and two. Way to lay off that pitch down. That's hard hit in the line. And no one can get there. And now runners at the corners, nobody out. No, that at bat had a lot riding on it. Certainly a pivotal swing of the bat in this ball game. Breaking ball was in a decent spot down and in, but he did a really nice job getting to it before it tied him up. Now just one swing away from potentially walking this thing off. Here's Joey Gallo. Outfield moves in, looking to cut down the winning run at the plate. On the ground, could be two. There's one. Out. Back to first, and that is a double play. Well, that at bat had a lot riding on it. Definitely one of the bigger ones in this game. So that double play is going to be one we look back on when this thing is over. Big time execution, both on the mound and in the field to get two right there. Joey Manessis digging in for the Nationals. Missing oh, inside, and it's 1-0. No score yet, but a runner at third with two away. At the belt and fires. Two balls, one strike. Not even close there. And now three and one. Eddie Rosario. Waiting for a turn at the plate. Two outs. And that's ball four. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Substitution now at first base. Pitch running here. Nassim Nunez. Here's Eddie Rosario. Edge of the zone for a strike, and it's 0 1. Corners are occupied with two down. That missed by a lot, and it's 1 and 1. And that one fouled off. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. Cuts and misses, it's a strikeout. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. here in Nationals Park. And now it's going to be Jake Berger. Man at second, nobody out. Chris, certainly one of the things in his head is trying to get the runner over. Yeah, the way that we see the game played today, though, guys are not sacrificing as much just to get that runner across. They're really looking at doing damage. Slugging is the name of the game. Yeah, I think part of that goes into it's just so hard to come up with hits. In today's game, starters don't go deep, and so hitters are seeing multiple pitchers every night, and that makes it more challenging just to come up with a single. Two and one now. Inside almost got him. Man, it's second. And that's in for a strike. We got full count. pitch 
Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. Fastball for a strike. That one hooked foul. One out. The go-ahead run is at second. Here at the top of the second. Left-hand hitter waits. Three. Struck him out looking. Most guys are very aggressive when they see the stakes out there on the base paths and can't understand why he wasn't ready to swing the bat. You've got to be ready to swing the bat in a situation like that with the go-ahead run in scoring position. Brian De La Cruz, the next up for the Marlins. Right side. He'll do it himself. And it's a 1 2 3 inning. One left for Miami. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And we're back. And now it's Keeper Ruiz. Oh, how he'd love to walk it off right here. And he deals. There's the strike. Well, he knows they don't want to oh, give him anyway. anything to hit. But when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. That breaking ball is in for a strike, and quickly it is nothing in two. Well, you can't expect to get a great pitch to hit with an open base and a runner on second. He's going to have to really tighten up his sights here. Puts it in the air out towards left center. And it falls. Here comes the throw. Save! Ball game. They walk it off. So exciting to see a team walk it off. Not so much fun if you're on the other side, but what a great way to win. This team is celebrating, and this win is well-deserved. The final one to nothing for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon for the victorious...